guys, I'm going to show you how I have got the countertops to the point that they're at right now, and the product that I use, and then the next step. So this is all has all been done with water-based dye, wood dye. It actually penetrates the wood, so it doesn't sit on the surface as much as stain does. And I want to be able to dye it a really rich, deep color so that you can't tell as easily that it's cheap construction lumber. So I've put a couple coats on already, let it dry overnight both times, and now I'm going to do my last coat. Um, so I have, I can see a little more red, and last night it looked a little purple, so there's a little more red in here that I want. And I am going to go over this countertop one more time with, I think, just some black. But you know what, here's the thing about finishing wood. In my opinion, it's a very artistic endeavor. And I, I know a lot of you want just a formula and you want step by step how I created the look that I created, but it's very difficult for me to share that with you because it's an experiment. It's always an experiment. Even if I use the same products, I may mix more or less of one thing and um, I, I don't know. So I will give you the colors of the dye that I use and I will let you know that I brushed it on with a brush, but I also experimented with wiping it on with a shop rag and that worked really well. It absorbs very quickly. So, you know, you probably, probably can't go wrong. Okay, so after this dries completely, I'm going to finish it with tongue oil. Now I did, I applied one coat and then I sanded it down with 220 because it's water-based stain, it raised the grain so there are a lot of little hair fibers, fibers sticking up. So you want to put on one coat and then knock it down, but it is super smooth now. It's kind of addictive brushing this on and watching it transform right before your very eyes. This is my third coat of, um, of stain. The first, I'm not stain, of dye. The first coat I put on, I let it dry overnight, and then I sanded the entire countertop down with 220 grit sandpaper to cut off all of the little fibers that the water-based stain raised. And that made it so smooth. And then I put on another coat that had a lot of brown in it, a little bit of silver. Um, a dark walnut, an extra dark walnut, I think. I might be saying the wrong names and um, colors. So I will put a link in the description of the colors that I used um, and a link to the product so that you can get it if you want to. Honestly, I don't know if you need to have three coats. You definitely need two. Well, actually, you don't definitely need two. You need to put on one and then sand it down if you're using the water base because it definitely raises the grain and then you have to cut that down or you have a really rough countertop. I'll be very eager to see what this looks like when it's completely dry. And because I'm going to do an oil-based taco after this, I want to make sure that it's completely dry and that all of this water uh, evaporates <laughs> before I start applying my oil base finish. And what I'm going to use for my top coat is tongue oil because I love, I love tongue oil. So isn't that pretty? Ah, I love it. Okay, bye now. Good morning, peeps. Um, I am in the finishing process of my countertops. I love the color. And now I'm doing my tongue oil as my top coat and I do at least three coats and I have to wait 24 hours in between coats. So I just came down to look at my first coat, make sure it's dry and it is. So I'm going to give it a light sanding and then put on another coat. You do not have to sand in between coats with tongue oil, but it's so stinky that I left my garage door open for many, many hours. And even though I had my dust filter on, the wind was blowing and I'm sure a little dust settled in there. So I want to give it a very, very light sanding 
um, before I put my next coat on. I don't know if you can see the surface, how there's some shiny spots and some areas where it's more matte. That's where the, the dull spots are where the tongue oil absorbed into the wood. And so um, as you apply each additional coat, it will, you know, it, the oil penetrates the wood. But at some point, it's going to stop absorbing so much and so then more of it will build up on the surface and then you'll have a more even sheen. So that's why we do coat after coat after coat. <laughs> so I'm gonna put on another coat as soon as I find my respirator, because it's stinky. It's not just stinky, but it's not good for the brain cells. So I'm gonna do that and then find something else to do upstairs because I'll have to leave this alone for another day.